in Genesis chapter 22 from verse 1 hear what the Bible said he said and God tried Abraham it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him and Abraham he said behold here I am go forward he is trying to show Abraham how to walk in all power and he said take now thy son thy only son Isaac whom thou lovest he said get thee into the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will show thee see it's not every power you operate in by quoting scriptures many Christians are fake they pick one scripture from somebody's testimony and begin to quote it ask the person what he did in order for you to walk in absolute insurance you must master the way of sacrifice the way of sacrifice is the way of immortals any man that wants his dynasty to be immortalized on the face of the earth must learn quickly the language of sacrifice because you cannot walk and keep pace with God until you understand this this is how God lives in fact in John 3 16 he said for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son this is the way of God the way of God is the way of sacrifice and so anybody who wants to function like God must master this this is what causes the mouth of men to be full of laughter and this is what brings men from all captivity the goal of power is to bring you out of captivity and this is the one thing you do that makes you step out of all captivity and begin to advance the purpose of God on the face of the earth when Abraham went to sacrifice Isaac God swore to him he said now I've sworn to you by myself I have sworn sovereignty has now been committed to Abraham and so Abraham doesn't need to pray to dominate the reason Abraham would dominate now is because God has sworn to him he said in blessings I will bless you and indeed shall all the nations of the earth be, will be blessed and so any man who understands sacrifice will have God's eternal faithfulness and allegiance and on the strength of that if he prays is good even if he doesn't pray he will walk in power because Abraham doesn't need prayer to walk in power anymore God swore to him this is why Abraham and his sons anything they do works a point came Isaac wanted to run to Egypt in Genesis 26 he says stay still in Gera your prosperity is not tied to a location now don't get it wrong there are certain prosperities that are tied to location that's why God sends men to location but anybody who has entered power through sacrifice he defies location and prospers your own prosperity others can go to Egypt but your own prosperity is not tied to a location he said in this same land I will bless you and he said Isaac sowed in that land and in the same year he reaped a hundredfold harvest and the Bible said something the Philistines came to him and said go away from us you are bigger than us how can one man be bigger than a nation you are bigger than us go from us Isaac dug a well they seized it he left them the well dried he dug another well they seized it he left it the well dried until a point came they now discovered it's not about the well it's about the man and so they thought where he dug they left him he now called it Rehobot I've come to my rest these people now have gained, have gained understanding because it's not about the location it's about who is walking but what conferred this level of authority upon them was the mystery of sacrifice there are too many Christians who are too selfish and self-centered to engage the altar of sacrifice in first Kings chapter 3 from verse 3 we saw another man who walked in this power his name is called Solomon they made his made him king he was a young man in fact if you read first Kings chapter 3 verse 6 7 and 8 Solomon gave an assessment of himself he said I am but a child I know not my right from my left that is an assessment a self-assessment I am a child but he knew something it's called sacrifice and the Bible said Solomon gave a burnt offering of a thousand one thousand cows one man gave that offering God couldn't wait for him to pray it was God who showed up and said ask what you want there are those who pray but those who sacrifice I meet them ask what you want see Christians are traveling everywhere looking for people to pray for them looking for people to lay hands on them 
all of that is good but as a level you can't enter until you begin to engage certain mysteries for yourself solomon was the son of david he had blessings on his head but for him to reign which is the arcade dimension of power he needs something much more than what david gave him so he had to excavate it himself through sacrifice and when solomon gave a sacrifice of a thousand bond offering god showed up and gave him a blank check what do you want i will give you whatever you want and solomon said give me wisdom that i may govern these people god said because you didn't ask for money or for the lives of your enemies the guy was asking for what he needs but because of sacrifice god was looking for a way to bless him even the ones you didn't ask for i have given to you when you are praying you will need intelligence in prayer to get result but when you are sacrificing even your ignorance god will use it as an excuse to bless you you didn't ask for wealth you didn't ask for the life of your enemy even that one i've given to you and in first kings chapter 4 verse 31 the bible said of all the kings of the earth he said there was no wiser than solomon he said men came to him from all around the world what level of fame and authority is that you don't read book to operate like that it is sacrifice that confess that level of authority on a man listen there is much wisdom can do for you but if you don't have sacrifice there are many dimensions you will never step into there are too many powers that negates the prosperity and the progress of men and so if you want to be superlatively and supernaturally powerful you need to understand the way of sacrifice that little thing you are keeping will take you nowhere it will finish it will finish in no time i remembered many years ago while i was serving my greatest asset was my phone i went somewhere and while the man of god was ministering the holy ghost told me to drop the phone what i will not do that lord lord i won't do this your mercy can cover for it my heart became troubled church close go home now for where <laughs> i stood up i went to the door i came back what is the meaning of this law <laughs> he saw tomorrow he saw he said jesus is the same yesterday today and forever we are running projects today in millions there's no way i would have raised that money god saw it so i bought today with the phone yesterday people don't have understanding you see somebody doing something with rest you say me too i can do it find out the weight of his altar some of the things happening today were purchased 10 years ago because the holy ghost guided you through divine wisdom and caused you to do things that made the heavens open for you and then you run into and collided with somebody and you think you are mates you are a joker nothing happens here by chance everything happening is walked is walked and so when you see men wielding power find out the secrets they know and what they engage and how early they understood it and engaged it i dropped the phone i dropped my shoe as i was about going he said that allow you received yesterday drop it too <laughs> he knew if he said allow and phone i would have run home so he started with where my faith could handle i dropped phone he said drop shoe i dropped shoe i dropped what he said do that allow yesterday do that transfer before you off the phone and i and trust me after dropping it i kept dropping all the allowity i left service my friends were saving money that ah they will start pottery farm they will start pottery and i asked god now that i don't have any plan what will happen in the first six months when i don't have job a finite man is asking alpha omega questions the one who is in, in tomorrow is the one you are asking about tomorrow you think he's not there before he gave the commandment now drop that in there and forget tomorrow because i live you shall see tomorrow the power of sacrifice you tell people they, oh dear. there's no spirit that does not understand the language of sacrifice both in light and in darkness both in light and in darkness you want you want to wield power you must learn it you must learn it every global force in scripture was a creature of sacrifice abraham sacrificed until he sacrificed isaac he became the father of many nations solomon was the wisest of all men that lived in his generation he gave a thousand pound offering to enter that dimension 
You can't operate like that. See, the mighty don't ask God for power. They don't even ask God for wealth. They pass the test of sacrifice. The moment you pass the test of sacrifice, influence and authority becomes the byproduct. That's how this kingdom works. In fact, David knew it so well. And David said, I think 1 Samuel 24, 24, he said, I will not give God a sacrifice that costs me nothing. I must pay for this. I must. I want to pay for this thing. That was the level of revelation the man had. They gave him the piece of land for free. He said, God forbid that I give God something that costs me nothing. And then you see David operating in escalated dimensions of power. And you think it's a gift? A man fought 66 battles and won all. In fact, a day came, David's mighty men spoke to him and said, You are greater than 10,000 of us. They knew they were skillful warriors. But they said, David, you, you are more than 10,000. And it was not an exaggeration. Because of the foundation that he stood on. Too many mysteries securing him. You see people, things happening to them, all kinds of things. No, it ought not to be. He said, the Lord will remember your offering and your sacrifice from the sanctuary. The Lord will remember. You think when God, he said, a cattle upon a thousand hills, he said, they are mine. There are some persons God talks to them for one year before they give a pin. It may take you a hundred years before you start the journey of life. Hello brethren, we pray that this message from the servants of God has brought blessings to you. If you have not yet been born again, we ask that you kindly join us in this prayer. Dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and that I cannot save myself. I ask you to forgive me my sins and come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. I trust in you alone for my salvation and ask that you guide and help me to live for you alone from this day forward. Thank you for your grace and your mercies. In Jesus' name, Amen. Kindly like this video and share with your friends and families. Leave your comments at the comment section and tell us where you are watching us from. Remember, Jesus loves you. Stay blessed.